Okay, hi everyone. Sorry I'm a mess right now. I just woke up, so my first thing is I just washed my backpack, so everything is clean. Nothing in there, see? And then uh, I put my uniform. I put my uniform in. Okay, I got my pants folded up and my shirt, my working clothes. They don't know I'm going to work. I just say I go camping. <laughs> so I sneak out of the house. See, I always put my clothes in here. I used to carry this one. I just washed this one too, but I carry this one. And then it's too much stuff. I have to put my wallet into my bag. Here and then my makeup bag in here. That's why I carry the big backpack because I carry my whole entire bedroom and kitchen <laughs> in my backpack. So it's like me going camping after work or me going camping during um, lunch break or whatever. So the reason why I'm not. I'm all messy right now because I just woke up and I'm after I do my um, pack up my clothes and stuff uh, into my bag. I'm gonna go take a shower, get ready for work. But I say I'm going camping instead of going to work. I don't let them know. And then I bring my cups with me, the brand new cups. So I drink using my cup and then I'm gonna go make me some orange tang. So I have my food with me. Got my dinner, my lunch right here. And my tank. Okay. I got my tank. I'm putting my tank, taking it to work with me. And I'm putting my jambalaya. That's one if I get a lunch break if, or my sugar level drop. I can have something that will fill me up, give me some protein and some, you know, some energy. And I always carry my habanero hot sauce bottle and put it together. That's why, see, my bag always looks full. <laughs> I have my, my kitchen and my uh, bedroom in here. <laughs> Portable RV. <laughs> But I see I vacuum my floor, my carpet, so um, it's clean. See, clean carpet. Just vacuum it yesterday. Now, time to take a shower before I go to work. Get ready. And I just ate at home, so I just, um, last night I bought chicken wings and I seasoned it and then I, um, I fried it this morning and ate it with white rice, so I eat my brunch before I go to work. And see, when I change to work, I'm going to wear this to work, my sweat clothes, because it's um, very it's thick, so it fits into this bag. That's why everybody think I'm shoplifting or stealing, no. I always have thick clothes, because now it's winter time, so... I have to change into my uniform and put this into my bag in the bathroom. That's why I always change in the bathroom so nobody know where I am and who I am and what I do. So, um, yep, that's why my bag is always full, thick. It looks like I'm shoplifting or stealing or whatever, but it's not. It's my clothes that's in there and my, my brunch or from, because I'm diabetic, so... I have to have food carried with me sometime. Somebody going into diabetic shock, then at least, you know, I don't have much, but something is better than nothing uh, for them to be, you know, not to starve or go into diabetic shock. If it's a last minute thing, you catch me off guard. I'm not focused. At least I have something on me. Caring is sharing and you need a good friend. That's why I carry my tang with me, just in case I'm going into diabetic shock. I'll be more prepared. It's like me going camping and finding a new camping partner, too. Let's see, right there. So, 
sometime I have to watch over him. He doesn't know I'm watching behind his back, observing him behind his back from afar. But I stand and wait until I see that he's gone and he's safely somewhere in his room or seated. Then I go because Sometimes he'll walk and trip over himself and trip and fall and he broke his rib cage. He doesn't know. I'm not stalking him. I'm just observing from afar. Okay, I just got out of the shower as you can see. Now time for my bio soup. This I transferred to a smaller version so that it's portable. So I can take it everywhere I want. Like going camping last minute. I want to smell good. See? You don't need too much, just a little bit. Because the water is hard water, so it tingles up my hair. ready for work after work I sit there and I camp camp out I ride my bike home and eat at the same time canned food it's comfortable eating is that like you can eat whatever you're craving for after work ow I feel like I have a bump um St. Met uh, what is it St. Hel Mount Helen right here Ow, that's a bump. Okay. My friend taught me how to brush my hair. Brush from here down. Don't brush from the root up. Uh, down. Because your hair will fall off. I used to French braid my hair all by myself backward. It's very hard, difficult to French braid your own hair, but you gotta be self-sufficient, independent, and learn how to do everything yourself. If you can't find anybody, you have good and a lot of enemies, nobody would do your hair for you, then you have to do your own hair. See, I'm brushing from the bottom downward and spread it and then start from here down so you don't pull and tingle your hair. Uh, it's getting a little tangled up. Okay. There you go. I'm trying not to have nappy hair like a bird nest, bird nest hair. <laughs> okay, see, I take my hair out, bunch of hair. Oh, okay, that was just a dream. I had a dream I had three blisters on my head. It's 